Hello everyone, it's Glenn from StellarAffiliates.com and thanks for joining me today. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write your own text in your website and make that text clickable. I'm, not, I'm going to miss no steps so complete beginners can follow along as well. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, thanks very much, now let's get started. Okay, so you can see here, this is my website holiday in Paris. So we're going to use this website to put the text in. It's a very simple process and it won't take long at all. Now, you'll need to have an affiliate network or to get your link from, or if you're an affiliate with, with any, any business, then you can use their links as well. So in this instance, um, I'm going with Commission Junction, so cj.com. So if you're not an affiliate with them, just type in cj.com and then you can sign up as a publisher. Um, if you're already a publisher, just click log in and enter your username and your password and log in. So in this example, I've already logged in. This is the homepage. So what I need to do is I need to go and get an advertiser's link so I can add it to my website. So all I do is I select advertisers. And because my website is Holiday in Paris, I will choose my advertisers and I'll select the category that I want. So Holiday in Paris is travel. Okay, then I'll go search. Okay, so the website is Holiday in Paris. Now I know I have a Paris Pass, there it is there. So I'll use this one, Paris Pass. So what I need to do is I need to get the link, so I'll just click on get link. So there's lots of links, 170 results. Okay, so I can take any link that I want as long as it's a click through URL. So if I have a look through here now, I'm in Paris, free tickets to the Louvre, the Louvre Museum. So what I will do is I'll take that, that's current, 5th of June 2015. That's something that people on my website would like. I want to get the code. Okay, so the code automatically comes up as HTML. I don't want the HTML code. What I want is a click URL. That's the code. Now, I always want to have it open in a new browser window so that the visitors on my website aren't being taken away from my website. So I've selected that, and because I'm in Holiday in Paris, I want to make sure that Holiday in Paris is the website that it's linked to. So I've done that. It's opening in a new window, and I go update code. So the code now changes accordingly. I'll copy this code. And I will go across and I'll put it in my website. Okay, so now I'm in my website, Holiday in Paris. So if you're familiar with WordPress, it'll just go into the dashboard. And I'll go down to my pages. And I'll just do it on my front page. So I'll scroll down and here's my front page. So what I'll do is I'll put it in there. So I'll click on the front page. Okay, so now we're on my front page. So I'm currently in the text mode. So. I might go and I'll select visual so I can actually see what I'm doing, where I want to put it. Okay, so holiday in Paris, multiple places to go. So probably I shouldn't have chosen that page. It's probably not the best page to go to. So what I'll do is I'll go back into my website. 
Okay. Let's go here to this one, Paris Holidays. There we go. Annual events and fairs in Paris. That's probably a good place to put it because if people are over there for annual events and fairs, then they're probably going to be interested in doing some holiday tourism. So that's what I'll do. I'll add that in there. So I'll go edit. And once again, I'll become visual. So here we are. Yep, let's put it in here. So I'll create, so I've got my cursor in there. So it needs to be in the text mode when I do this because I'm actually writing in code. So I can't have it in visual. So it's when you holiday in Paris. So how I can note that is I can just put some X's, like X marks a spot. Go back to my text mode. Okay. And find, there they are there. There's those three X's that I just put in. So, so you see there's all that code that's listed. So when you holiday in Paris. So that's where I want to do it. So I'll delete those X's. And what I'll do is I need to write in some more code. So I'll just grab that code. There we go there. And I'll put that code in right there. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this for you to see what it is that we're going to be putting in. So you need to copy this exact code and then you can change the different variants that suit your website. So we've got here our bracket marker. So you will find that on your keyboard. It's generally on the same row as your shift keys. And it will be, those bracket markers will be above the full stop and the comma. So we'll need to add one of those in. So there it is there. So what I'll do is I'll go and I'll enter and I'll type in what it is that we need to. So add that in. A space href equals. And this is where we stick our link. So we put our link in here. So if we go back to Commission Junction, that link there, which is our free tickets. So we need to copy that link. And that link there is what we'll paste in. So we'll go and paste. Now that's going to take the visitor to that web, that web page where those free tickets are on the Paris Pass website. So we've put that link in. Now at the beginning of that link, we needed to have our double quotations. Start off the equals, our double quotations. Paste that link. Following that link, double quotations again to close it. And we need to have a forward slash. My apologies, we need to have our close bracket. So you can see so far we've added our code. The open bracket a space bar h r e f equals open quotations. We've added the link that gets us to the website, our link where we get the commission from. We've then closed the quotation, added the closed bracket in. Now this part here is where you can add what you want to write. So in this instance, why not write free tickets? to the Louvre Museum. So let's do that. So all I need to do is just copy that. Paste. Free tickets to the Louvre Museum. 
say, for 12 pounds. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll delete the space there. And I'll delete that space. Okay. So now when we go to our website shortly, this link will be hidden behind this text. So this text will now be clickable. Free tickets. So if someone wants those free tickets, all they need to do is click that text when we go to the website page and it will take them to this link and you'll get the commission for that purchase. So all we need to do now is we need to open the bracket again and this time we need to go spacebar Oh, sorry, no space bar. Open the bracket, forward slash, A, close bracket. Back it there. That's the code. So you need to write it exactly as you see it. As I said, the interchangeable parts are the clickable link will be whatever link you have and you put in. So that, that will change according to whatever you're, you're advertising on your website. And this is the text and that will change according to what you're putting on your website. But the fixed components of this code will be the open bracket A space bar href equals open quotations. Then at the end of the clickable link, it'll be close quotation, close bracket. So that's, they must be in. Then you'll have your text that you write. And then once again, you must include after your text, open bracket, forward slash A, close bracket, as you see it there. And then from there, we will then update that and you'll have your text. So whatever your text is that's in your website, you'll have it straight after, no space. It'll just appear straight after that close bracket. Okay, and then there you go. You'll have yourself a clickable link behind your text. And that text can be anything you want. It doesn't have to be what, I, what you pick up from Commission Junction. You can write whatever you want. As long as you've got your link and those code in, it'll automatically click. So update our changes. And let's go view our page. And let's scroll down our page. And there it is there. So free tickets to Louvre Museum, save 12 pounds. So if someone clicks on that, that takes them through to exactly where they need to be. Paris Paths benefits free entry to the museum. Normal entry price, 12 pounds. So straight away, the customer at your website will be able to purchase what it is that they're getting, or they're able to get those tickets for free. And whatever link you send them to, they will go to straight away. So that is how you can make your text clickable. Just like that. So any text in here, you can do exactly the same. Just copy that same code for anything that you want to make clickable. So particularly when you're writing, you can make whatever it is that you want clickable. So people are reading through and it's like, oh, okay, I want to find out about this event. I'll click on it and it'll take them to this event or whatever it is that you have on your website. I hope that was interesting. Thank you very much for listening and listen out for more video tutorials that I have at StellarAffiliates.com. Have a great day.